Guilty on all three counts. That's the verdict in the murder trial of Jamal Smith, the Chicago man accused of fatally shooting youth baseball coach Jay Bowton on Highway 169 in Plymouth. The jury deliberated for about 16 hours on three felony charges, including first degree murder, a charge that took jurors the longest to decide. Reporter Sarah Tamer has covered this trial from the very beginning. She joins us now with more from the courthouse. The jury found Jamal Smith guilty on all three counts. Count one, murder with intent. Count two, murder while committing drive-by shooting. And count three, illegal possession of a firearm. The jury deliberated a little more than 15 hours between Tuesday and Thursday. In the courtroom, family was emotional, hugging each other and exchanging words of encouragement. We heard from Jay Bounton's family after the verdict, including his wife, Kristen. We miss Jay so much. He was a loving father and a, a loving husband and, and a best friend to so many people. And today is just a step in the right direction. But Harris Anomaly and I have a long way to go without Jay. The first degree murder conviction means Smith will serve a mandatory life sentence in prison. Reporting in Minneapolis, Sarah Tamer, CCX News. Cities continue to scramble with how to regulate the sale of THC gummies after the state legislature legalized them. THC is the active ingredient in marijuana. The Minnesota legislature passed a law allowing the sale of THC products starting July 1st, but it did not establish any licensing criteria or parameters on who and where retailers can sell. We have to have it organized and it can't be like the Wild West or Hong Kong. Mayor Bill Blonigan and the Robbinsdale City Council passed an emergency interim ordinance that establishes a 12-month moratorium on the sale of THC products within the city. So they can then work on local regulations like permits, licenses, and zoning considerations. I don't want our retailers and other business owners that may be coming to Robbinsdale making business decisions only to have to undo them in 3, 6, 12 months. Robbinsdale's city charter allows for the council to pass an emergency interim ordinance in order to study new legislation. The council voted unanimously to adopt the ordinance to then study the subject. Renters in the Twin Cities are paying more than some home mortgage payments. According to the group Housing Link, the median rent in June for three-bedroom apartments is more than $1,800 in the Twin Cities, while rent for two-bedroom apartments is almost $1,400 per month. One bedrooms are going for about $1,100. A Brooklyn Park housing expert says that apartment rents have gone up about 2% from last year, which is due to normal inflation. Meanwhile, the African Career Education and Resources Group in Brooklyn Park provides housing resources for people struggling to pay rent. Right now, people come in, they say that they are experiencing a, a lot of high, high rents, and the, uh, that is being, that's because um, you know, the impact of the pandemic, they lost a lot of savings, and now because of the inflation, a lot of um, other expenses are eating into their rent budget. People can also find resources at Hennepin County, SEEP, and Community Action Partnership of Hennepin County. A St. Paul boutique wine shop wants to open up another location in Crystal. The council approved a liquor license for the wine thief and ale jail to operate in this old Pizza Hut Express location that is in the 3600 block of Douglas Drive. The owners have run a small hand curated boutique wine shop in St. Paul for five years. They'd like to open up in Crystal by the beginning of the year. What we feel like is our strength is that we offer something um, that is sort of an enhancement and it's hand selected and we really want to make it like um, a place where you can come and get something that enhances your meal or enhances your evening with your friends without any pressure or any snobbery or you know it's 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 a good spot I think. The owners would also like to host cocktail workshops and wine tastings at that location. Electricians and student apprentices from across the Midwest gathered in Brooklyn Park on Thursday with bragging rights and cash on the line. As Delane Cleveland reports, the electricians took part in a competition that's designed to be fun and hopefully draw more people to the profession. 
we consider these guys and girls the best of the best, absolutely. Most major sporting events require a field or a court. But if you're an electrician, all you need is a table, a few wires, the right tools, and a whole lot of knowledge. So you slice it here, and then you mount this guy there, and then make sure everything's good, and that's it. Sounds simple, right? <laughs> well, it all makes sense to Emma Becker. Oh, really? She's one of the many electricians who gathered in Brooklyn Park on Thursday for this event put together by Ideal Industries. The task itself is simple for those in the trade. The competitors have to install a receptacle. You have receptacles throughout your house, outlets. So they're just installing a receptacle and they're, they're uh, combining two wires together and they're splicing two wires and they're checking for continuity. But the challenge is who can do it the fastest. Under a minute, I would say it's pretty good. If I could get it under 50 seconds, that would be even better, but we'll see what happens, you know? The electricians here are competing for a spot in the ideal national championship in Tampa, where tens of thousands of dollars are on the line. Minnesota is so competitive, so to even be able to come and compete with these guys, is the coolest thing ever. Our chance to show off our skills. Guys like Mike Fox, who enjoy this event because it gives them an opportunity to show off their skills. We all have pride in our work at work. We always will be the guy that will drive around and tell our kids, look at that building, we did that, look at that. They don't see what we do. So this is kind of fun to be able to showcase us. It's a showcase that event organizers hope will attract more young people to the profession. If I'm watching from the sidelines and I'm thinking I want to get into something after high school and you see something like this, it's not just work, you can have some fun. In Brooklyn Park, Delane Cleveland, CCX News.